going on YouTube? I'm here with my 1997 Z28 fourth generation Camaro. I'm going to go over five things that I hate or do not like about this car. First thing I'm going to talk about is the wheels. Now clearly, these are aftermarket wheels. They're from a C5 Corvette. The original wheels of this car were just plain white. It's an anniversary edition, so they weren't the normal Z28 wheels, but I'll go ahead and flash a picture of those now. So yeah, those are the original ones, as most people probably know. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the original anniversary wheels for this car. Alright, here are the original wheels for the car. They're just a normal white five-spoke or star pattern. I'm not really sure what to call it. But uh, as you can see, they're extremely dirty. They've been put away. I haven't had them out in the car in about a year. But even when they're clean, I still don't like the look of it. I, I don't know why some people do. Some people don't. Me personally, just wasn't for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and flash a picture of those right now too. So you guys can comment down below. Tell me your thoughts on whether you like them or not. Personally, they just weren't for me. All right, the second thing that I don't like about this car is how much it scrapes for just stock suspension. Now, with that being said, I'm aware the car is low and it's supposed to be low, it's gonna scrape. But for stock suspension, in my opinion, it just scrapes way too much. You have to go at an angle at just about everything. Like I said, I know it's low, that's gonna happen regardless, but just way too much for stock. The third thing that I do not like about this car is here on the passenger side. Now, as most of you know, there's a huge bump in the floor from the catalytic converter, which sits right under. Now, personally, it doesn't affect me because I'm driving and the driver's side doesn't have this. But for passengers, they're always complaining or asking what it is. So it is kind of annoying having to deal with that. Not to mention, I've sat in the passenger seat of other people's cars that also have this large bump. And it is quite annoying, I will be honest. The fourth thing that I don't like about this car is the window motors. Now, anybody who has owned one of these cars knows exactly what I'm talking about. This one, the passenger side right here, I already replaced this window motor and it is still extremely slow and I'll show you now. Yeah. And believe it or not, it actually goes up even slower. So if it's raining, I would refrain from opening these windows no matter what. The fifth thing that I hate about this car is the dashboard. Now, another thing, if you own this car, you already know just how easily and often they crack. There's a giant crack on the passenger side right there, and you come over here on the driver's side, another one. Now, this is just a known problem with these. I'm not sure why, I guess just cheap 90s plastic from GM, which everybody knows about, like I said, if you own the car. So it can get really annoying, and to my understanding, it is a pain in the ass to replace the dashboard, so I don't have any intentions on doing that anytime soon. So that covers the top five things that I do not like or I hate about this car. Now, with that being said, before anyone misunderstands me, I do really like this car. These are just five things that can get annoying at times. And one more thing, now this isn't necessarily for all the cars, the top five things that I did pick, I tried to be universal with it, but uh, the last one is the fact that it is an automatic. Now, yes, I did it to myself because I did buy the car, but the car came up at the right time for the right price when I was looking, so I really couldn't turn it down. So yeah, like I said, I do love the car, but these are the top five things that I do not like or that annoy me. So yeah, if you like the video, just give it a thumbs up. If I missed anything that you guys think, you know, just drop it in the comment section below and subscribe for future videos. Peace.